Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on rotation. There are many objects in real life that undergo a rotation or turning motion. Some examples are the wheels on a bike, the steering wheel of a car, the lid of a jar, the hands of a clock. Rotation occurs when an object turns through an angle around a fixed point. The fixed point can be located anywhere. Let's look at some examples. Here's the center of rotation, that little dot there where the letter O is, and this is the original triangle. And we rotate the triangle in that direction. That's in a clockwise direction, and that's the image. That's where the center of rotation is. That's the point that's fixed. And that triangle rotates around that point. The same here. The only difference here, the center of rotation is away from the original triangle. It's out here somewhere. The angle of rotation is 140 degrees. So all we do is go around in that direction there. Say, in that direction there. 140 degrees. And that is the image. So that's where we started. And that's the image. Over here we have a simple flag and that's been rotated in that direction. The direction of rotation is clockwise, the angle of rotation is 55 degrees and there's the center of rotation. Just pretend that's a flag and the center of rotation is right at the end of the stick. And here we have some more examples of rotation. This is a circle, and just look at those there. If we start from here, and we rotate in that direction, we've gone 90 degrees, because this ends up here. But if we keep going to there, the rotation is 180 degrees. And the center of rotation basically is the center of the circle. With respect to rotation in real life, here we have the arms or the hands of a clock, all the different arms, and they rotate around that fixed point. A disc in a machine that plays music or stores data rotates around that point. Here we have a Rubik's Cube, and there's a point right in the center there. It rotates around there. There's a Ferris wheel, center of rotation, and that's another numbers wheel we use in probably for clubs or whatever, for raffles. And you spin that and there's the center of rotation. So if we look at some simple examples, we'll give four questions here and you can think about those for a while and then we'll give the answers on the next slide. So the first one is rotate each of the following using the given directions. So that triangle there Rotate the triangle ABC 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. So there's your original triangle. There's the center of rotation. Rotate 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. So have a think about how that's done. The next one, rotate the triangle B, which is this one, through 180 degrees. Now it doesn't say what direction, so you can pick any direction you want. Number three, rotate the flag through 60 degrees in a clockwise direction. There's a center of rotation right at the end. And the last one, rotate the triangle through 180 degrees. There's a center of rotation right at the end of the triangle. And we have the answers on the next slide. So we'll leave this slide on for 30 seconds and then we'll click, quickly go to the answers and then we'll finish up. So there's the last slide with the answers. So you can have a look at that for as long as you want. You're able to pause the slide and have a look at it. I'll just leave it on for 30 seconds, but you can pause the slide anytime you want to leave it on for longer. So 
So this video has given us a basic introduction to the idea of rotation and we've seen all the components where there's a very important fixed point which can be anywhere. We've also got a direction and we've also got an angle of rotation. And once you have those three things then you can rotate the original image through whatever angle you need.